Hi, this is Rick Merritt from AE Times, and I'm at the IEEE Sensor Networks Conference, where Eric Brewer from uh, University of California, Berkeley, just gave a talk about Wi-Fi for sensor networks and the impact it can have on the developing world. Eric, thanks for taking out a couple of minutes. Appreciate Thank it. You. So you said you're doing some development work now in some uh, non-TDMA Macs and some point-to-multipoint uh, technologies. What are you doing there, and, and what's going to be the impact of that? Sure. It's uh, two complementary projects. The first one is to use a TDMA Mac instead of the classic kind of CSMA Mac for Wi-Fi. So we're using the same physical hardware, yeah. and replacing the software above the physical layer. Yeah. Uh, and the advantage of that is that we can use basically the high volume hardware, and keep low cost, take off the shelf components. Uh, the software allows us to go essentially unlimited distances with high bandwidth. So our new Wi-Fi prototype for long distance uh, called Wild gives us a, a full bandwidth, typically six megabits per second TCP. Uh, even at very long distances, so 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers, uh, also even the world record at 382 kilometers in Venezuela. Oh, that was your record. When did you set that? That was set with some friends in Venezuela um, a little about a year ago, and uh, one in high in the Andes and one in down at sea level because you need line of sight. So you have to have pretty differential heights to get line of sight at those kinds of distances. Yeah. So not super practical, but a good test of the technology. Really, any distance you can see, we can connect. And so what's the impact of this technology on these developing market rural areas that you're trying to address? Really, this is the first low-cost way to connect rural areas. The traditional way has been satellite, which is very expensive, really too expensive for these areas. Uh, these links can be well less than $1,000, maybe even less than $500 one-time cost to set up the links, and then you're getting six megabits per second for that, which is quite a bit more than most satellite uses. Yeah, yeah. So what would you consider the main things on your, your roadmap now that you're trying to develop for the, you talked about some work and in, in dealing with uh, the difficult power situations or, or, or other kinds of Macs. So what, what would you consider the most important projects that you or your students are working on now to kind of push this right. technology forward? Now that we have the core technology working, it's really about how do you put this together and something that's going to be reliable, because again, these are remote places. You really don't want to visit them to fix things. So we need reliable nodes. We need reliable power sources. So we're looking at solar and uh, other uh, and wind as well, as potential local power source. Also looking at how to do remote management so that we can diagnose things from afar and maybe even fix some things remotely by logging in. So there's lots to do on the kind of robustness and remote management aspects, I would say. Yeah. All right. Sounds great. Well, wish you a lot of luck on the work. Thank, Thank you. you very much. All right.